Dams have been built by man since time immemorial to retain water in rivers for irrigation and in order to meet domestic water needs. In more recent times, the additional need for energy has further driven the need for dams to drive industrial growth and light homes. With rising population numbers and a drive for industrialization, Africa has come under pressure on resources, and the need for water has not been an exception. A recent count put the number of dams in sub-Saharan Africa at a total of 980 large dams, with around 589 of them in South Africa. Hello viewers, thanks for joining us again. Before we continue, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our exciting videos coming up. The continent of Africa in the last decade has seen a resurgence in construction of massive dams in order to supply more regulated water and to generate hydroelectricity. Most of these dams have been located along the Nile and more specifically in Ethiopia because of the country's mountainous region and abundance of rivers that offer ideal locations for dam construction. In this video, we'll present the top 10 biggest dams that are located in Africa based on power generation capacity. If you know of any exciting dam which wasn't on our list, please share this information in our comments section and let's discuss. Without any further delay, here are the 10 biggest dams in Africa. Number 10, the Tekiz Dam Ethiopia. The Tekiz Dam is a double curvature arch dam located on the border of Amhara and Tigray region of Ethiopia. Situated on the Tekiz River, a tributary of the Nile that flows through one of the deepest canyons in the world, the 188 meters Tekiz Dam is Africa's largest double curvature arch dam. The powerhouse contains 475 megawatts turbines, generating 300 megawatts of electricity. Number 9, the Kainji Dam Nigeria. Kainji Dam is a dam across the Niger River in Niger state of central Nigeria. It was built in just four years and opened in 1968. It is 65 meters high, 550 meters across, and generates a total of 760 megawatts. The dam was designed to have a generating capacity of 960 megawatts, however only eight of its 12 turbines have been installed. The total cost was estimated at $209 million, which is equivalent to about $1.3 billion in 2020. Number 8, the Akasambo Dam Ghana. One of the top African dams is the Akasambo Dam, which was constructed between 1961 to 1965. It sits at the base of Lake Volta, which is the largest man-made lake in the world by surface area. It covers 8,502 square kilometers, which is 3.6% of Ghana's land area. With a volume of 148 cubic kilometers, Lake Volta is the world's third largest man-made lake by volume. The estimated total cost of the project, in its entirety, was estimated at $258 million, which is $1.3 billion equivalent in 2020. The dam's original electrical output was 912 megawatts, which was upgraded to 1,020 megawatts in a retrofit project that was completed in 2006. The dam also serves as flood control. The Lake Volta itself is popular for being a way for trade and travel. Number 7, Mero Dam Sudan. Downstream on the Nile, in less than a decade ago, Sudan completed the Mero Dam. The dam has a length of about 9 kilometers and a crest height of up to 67 meters. It consists of concrete-faced rockfill dams on each river bank. The planned generating capacity for the dam is 1250 megawatts from 10 Francis turbines, each having a capacity of 125 megawatts. The construction of the dam began 2004 and was commissioned in March 3, 2009. The total project cost is reported to be $2.9 billion. Number 6, the Inga Dams, Democratic Republic of Congo. The Inga Dams in Democratic Republic of Congo consists of two single dams. Inga 1, generating 351 megawatts, and Inga 2, 1,424 megawatts. They were commissioned in 1972 and 1982 respectively and currently operate at a 50% capacity because they have not been properly maintained in recent years. The two dams are located in the west of the country, 225 kilometers southwest of the capital Kinshasa, and is located on the Congo River. 
The Congolese government plans to start an Inga 3 project, a 4,800 megawatts hydroelectric plant that would cost $14 billion. The Inga 3 dam would be the first phase of the ambitious Grand Inga hydropower scheme, whose generation capacity is estimated at 40 gigawatts. This is enough to provide power to nearly half of the African continent, and nearly twice as much as the Three Georges Dam in China. It is estimated that about $80 billion could be enough to develop the project. Number 5, Jibe 3 Ethiopia. Another noteworthy dam project is the Gilgil Jibe 3 Dam, located across the Omo River in Ethiopia. Construction began in 2007 and was completed in 2016. The dam is located 350 kilometers southwest of the capital Addis Ababa. In total it produces 1,870 megawatts and has a height of 243 meters. The total project cost is reported to be $2.9 billion. The Jibe 3 dam as the name implies, is part of the Jibe Cascade, and there is also on the drawing board the planned dams to be constructed, which will be the Jibe 4, 1,472 megawatts, and Jibe 5, 560 megawatts. Number 4, the Kahara Basa Dam Mozambique. One of the world's biggest dams is located in Mozambique. The Kahara Basa Dam has a capacity of 2,075 megawatts and ranks after the Aswan High Dam. The Kahara Basa system constructed between 1969 and 1975 is the largest hydroelectric scheme in southern Africa. Most of the power generated is exported to South Africa, which is done by the Kahara Basa HVDC system, a set of high-voltage direct current lines. The system includes two converter stations, one at Songo in Mozambique and the other at Apollo in South Africa. The amount of water that flows through these turbines makes this dam the largest hydroelectric plant in southern Africa. Number 3, Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station Tanzania. The 2100 megawatts Rufiji hydropower project is being built on the Rufiji River in Steelgers Gorge, Silas Game Reserve of Tanzania. Construction on the $2.9 billion project officially started in June 2019, and commissioning is expected in 2022. It'll be the third largest dam in terms of power generation capacity when completed. The Tanzania Electric Supply Company, Tanesco, which is operated by the Ministry of Energy and Mines, is undertaking the project. Tanzania's federal budget proposal, unveiled in May 2018, earmarked $307 million for the project, which accounts for approximately 40% of the country's total federal budget. The reservoir will be 100 kilometers long and 1,350 square kilometers in area. The powerhouse will be above ground and consist of nine vertical Francis turbines, with capacity ranging from 200 megawatts to 300 megawatts each, and power generators with a capacity of 1,200 megawatts each. The project will also include the construction of spillway drainage, with a capacity of 14,000 cubic meters per second, two coffer dams, diversion tunnels with a cross-section area of 95.4 square meters, and low-level outlets with a capacity of 1,000 cubic meters per second. Number 2, the Aswan High Dam Egypt. The Aswan High Dam is the world's largest embankment dam built across the Nile in Aswan, Egypt, between 1960 and 1970. It holds back 169 square kilometers of a lake called Lake Nasser. The turbines produce 2,100 megawatts, and due to the high production capacity, the Aswan High Dam ranks as Africa's second largest. The estimated construction is $270 million, which will be present day around $1.4 billion. Number 1, Grand Renaissance Dam Ethiopia. The Grand Renaissance Dam is Ethiopian's most massive project to date, and at a cost of $6.4 billion, have the distinction of being Africa's largest dam, generating a whopping 6,000 megawatts of electrical energy. The dam is located on the Blue Nile and construction begun in 2011. The main dam utilizes roller compacted concrete, which is a blend of normal concrete and fly ash. Because the technology uses less water the mix is drier and has no slump. It is delivered by truck and spread out by bulldozers before being compacted by vibratory rollers. On completion the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will be the largest dam in Africa. 1,800 meters long, 155 meters high, and with a total volume of 74,000 million cubic meters. 
The dam has a 15,000 cubic meter per second spillway and a rock fill saddle dam 5 kilometers long and 50 meters high. The dam's generating capacity will be from 16 Francis turbines, located in two power stations, positioned one on either bank of the river, producing 15,000 gigawatts hour per year. So there you have it. Those were the 10 largest dams in Africa. If you found this video useful and exciting, please don't forget to share the excitement with friends on social media. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the New Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.